July 11th. On this day we celebrate the memory of the holy and great martyr Euphemia, who confirmed the confession of faith of the 630 God-bearing fathers gathered in Chalcedon for the Fourth Ecumenical Council. At the Fourth Holy Ecumenical Council, convoked by the devout Emperor Marcion and the Empress Pulcheria in Chalcedon in the vast Basilica of St. Euphemia, the 630 fathers undertook to refute the heretical opinions of Archimandrite Eutychus, who was supported by Dioscorus, Archbishop of Alexandria. In order to settle their differences by a decision that had come down from God, the Holy Patriarch Anatolius suggested that each of the two parties write a volume con containing their respective professions of faith, and that these two documents be placed in the reliquary containing the body of St. Euphemia. The two scrolls in which were written the definitions of the faith concerning the person of Christ were then placed on the saint's chest, and after having sealed the casket, the fathers fell to prayer. After eight days, they all went to the martyrium, and opening the reliquary, discovered with wonder that the saint was clutching the orthodox scroll in her hands, as though she wanted to press it into her heart, while the heretic scroll lay at her feet. Before this amazing demonstration of the truth, the Orthodox gave thanks to God, and the heretics, booed by the crowd, were covered with shame. Many other miracles were wrought by Saint Euphemia. During a per Persian invasion, the barbarians, having invaded Chalcedon, attempted to destroy the precious relics by fire. But they remained intact, and fresh blood flowed from one of the holes the Persians had made in the reliquary. This miracle was repeated from time to time, procuring many healings for the faithful who came to gather the blood of St. Euphemia. But more frequently, her tomb exhaled a delicate perfume, testifying to the favor that the saint had with God. To protect the precious relics from further profanation, they were transferred to Constantinople, where they were placed in the church of St. Euphemia near the Hippodrome. Thrown into the sea during the persecution by Constantine Capronimus, the church being turned into an armament store, the relics came ashore on the coast of Lemnos, where they were found by fishermen. Discovered during the reign of Empress Irene, they were solemnly translated to the capital, where they continued to work miracles. After having undergone many other vicissitudes, they are venerated today in the church of the Ecumenical Patriarch in the Farnar. Heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who are everywhere and filling all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and on to the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and on to the ages of ages. Amen. Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Christ, comely virgin, thou didst fill the earth.
orthodox with gladness, and its cover with shame all the heretics. For at the holy fourth council in Chalcedon, thou didst confirm what the fathers decreed aright. O all glorious great martyr, do thou entreat Christ God, that his great mercy may be granted unto us. I shall open my mouth to chant, and with the Spirit shall I be filled, and word shall I now pour forth unto the Mother and Queen, and I shall be seen in joyous jubilation, acclaiming exultantly all of her wondrous deeds. O holy great martyr Euphemia, pray to God for us. I shall open my mouth, and it shall be filled with the Spirit, and I shall sing a song unto the prize winner of Christ, and I shall be seen joyously proclaiming the pains and the struggles which she endured. Holy great martyr Euphemia, pray to God for us. As you run to thy temple with faith, O honorable Euphemia, thou pourest bountiful gifts of healings upon us who pray to thee from the depths of our hearts and celebrate our memorial with longing. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. According to the divine apostles' word, thou became the temple wherein Christ the Lord was pleased to dwell, and walk because of the purity of thy soul, O much suffering martyr. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. We conceal not the abyss of thy mercy, O Lady, and the bountiful outpouring of thy wonders, and the sea of thy beneficence, which thou hast poured out for all in thine abundant mercy. Make steadfast, O holy Theotokos, thou living and never failing spring, all them that form a company and gather for to praise thy name, and by thy grace divine, O may deem them all worthy of glory's crowns. O holy great martyr Euphemia, pray to God for us. O how the martyr of Christ amazed the tyrant with her surpassing endurance as she contended in the midst of the stadium, for she manfully bare the torments of terrible suffering. Holy great martyr Euphemia, pray to God for oh, us. O all famed martyr Euphemia, we ever honor thy memory with songs of praise, being enriched with the shrine that holds thy sacred and venerable relics. O oh, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou didst manfully cast down the great noetic serpent, O modest one, strengthened with the grace of Father, the Son and Spirit, the unmingled nature and free Son divinity. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. As is due, let us all him marry, our pure Lady, the only ever virgin. For she is become the fountainhead of our salvation because of her surpassing purity. Loving thy bridegroom, Christ, O all-lauded martyr, and ever keeping thy lamp ready in splendor, thou shonest bright with virtues, O Euphemia, wherefore thou hast entered in with him into the marriage, and thou hast received from him crowns for victory in contest. Hence rescue us from perils and all harm, as we observe thy memorial faithfully. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. To God's birth giver, let us run now most earnestly, we sinners all and wretched ones and fall prostrate in repentance calling from the depths of our souls. Lady, come unto our aid, have compassion upon us. Hasten thou, for we are lost in a throng of transgressions. Turn not thy servants away with empty hands, for thee alone do we have as our only hope. When the prophet Abacom, O thou most high, learned of the divine and untraceable counsel of thy pure incarnation from the womb of the blessed virgin, he cried out glory to thy power, O Lord my God. 
O holy mo- great martyr Euphemia, pray to God for us. Thou didst treasure up the true wealth, that neither moth nor rust does corrupt the august and comely virgin. Thou didst not hide it in the earth, but didst disperse it abroad to the needy. Holy great martyr Euphemia, pray to God the for us. The assembly of the fathers was verily filled with wonder and joy on beholding the orthodox tome in thy hands, O modest Euphemia but the alien one under thy feet. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. All the evil diseased followers of Dioscorus and Eutychus were filled exceedingly with great blasphemy. O all-famed martyr Euphemia, but thou didst utterly put them to shame. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. When the heavenly spirits perceived the mystery that had truly come to pass in the Orthodox, they were amazed, therefore they are at a loss, O lady, to offer thee a worthy hymn. All creatures were so amazed at thy divine and great glory made, O pure virgin who hast not known wedlock. For thou didst hold in thy womb the God of all, and gave his birth to the timeless Son, who doth grant salvation unto all them that acclaim thy name. O holy great martyr Euphemia, pray to God for us. Thou didst prefer the good part of all famed Euphemia, disdaining all the glory and riches of life. For one thing is needful, and thou didst cast off the care and trouble about many things in imitation of Mary. Holy great martyr Euphemia, pray to God for us. O oh, strange wonder, though dead in the tomb, she as though alive performs miracles far above the power of man, gushing forth streams of blood as a greater proof that the righteous live. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Since thou to thy Creator in the heavens make supplication for us who acclaim thy divine memorial with faith, O Euphemia, you all-famed martyr of Christ, for whom thou didst pour out thy blood as a sacrifice. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O unwedded lady, the foretelling of the prophets truly finds its fulfillment in thee. For thou didst conceive the beginningless word of the Father in thy womb, as that divine assembly proclaimed before. On this divine and most honoured feast of God's all-holy Mother, let all of godly mind now celebrate. Come, let us faithful now clap our hands and send up glory unto the God whom she has born. O holy great martyr Euphemia, pray to God for us. Looking upon all the fleeting things of earth as the flower of the grass, the old venerable Euphemia spat upon them as rubbish, that she might gain Christ whom she desired. Holy great martyr Euphemia, pray to God for us. Thou hast hurled down the great dragon who vaunted himself exceedingly, O maiden, and thou hast drowned in a torrent of thy blood him that guilefully plotteth against us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Seeing thy most sacred relics lying in our midst as a sweet repast, we all fare sumptuously in spirit, drawing forth health and sanctification. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. With thy giving of birth, thou dost a stony shawl, O all holy virgin, bride of God. For how is it that thou gavest birth without knowing man before childbearing, and again after giving birth remain is incorrupt? For the sake of Christ, thy bridegroom, thou didst ardently cast thyself into struggles in thy contest, and into struggles for the faith. Yet even now intercede through the Theotokos, that the heresies and insolence of enemies be put under the feet of orthodox Christians. O famed Euphemia, who didst receive in God the definition of the 630 God-bearing fathers, of thy sufferings and thine achievements and thy virginity and thy blameless life, what ought a man to marvel at first? For thou hast gladdened the Father since thou hast wedded to the Son, having adorned thyself right fair in the Holy Spirit. Who is sufficient for these things? 
who is now able to speak of all the virtues that shine round about thee, never to fade away. For thou, dawning from the tomb as from the east, shinest everywhere, casting thy rays upon both land and sea, and hallowing and making fragrant the farthest regions of every land. Therefore, when thou wast entrusted with the tome, thou didst receive in God the definition of the six hundred and thirty God-bearing fathers. Thou didst receive in God the definition of the six hundred and thirty God-bearing fathers. No created thing but only the Creator with the godly mind did use, adore, and worship as God. But manfully trampling down threats of fire, they cried out, O supremely praised and all acclaimed one, blessed art thou, O Lord God of our fathers. O holy great martyr, Euphemia, pray to God for us. With a steadfast mind, thou didst easily endure the harshness of the torments, O all loaded martyr, receiving divine aid from the heights. Wherefore thou didst chant, O Lord, the God of our fathers, blessed art thou. Holy great martyr, Euphemia, pray to God for the us. The all loaded Euland and beautiful virgin has called all unto her festivities. Therefore be you joyous when celebrating and crying out, O Lord, the God of our fathers, blessed art thou. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou didst convict the folly, both of you, Tikis, who failed miserably as touching religion, and of the Dioscorus, O all loaded martyr, while singing, O Lord, the God of our fathers, blessed are thou. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Make thy Son gracious unto me, O all spotless virgin, I pray, and disdain not him that fervently pours forth prayers and tears. O August Lady, and who cries, O Lord, the God of our fathers, blessed are thou. Three guiltless youths cast in the furnace were saved by the offspring which the Theotokos bore, then in figure and in type, now in very truth indeed, and he has gathered all the world which cries out and chant, ye works of his, O sing the Lord's praises, and exalt him greatly for ages and all ages. O holy great martyr Euphemia, pray to God for us. Thou stoodst manfully before the tribunals of the transgressing tyrants, O Euphemia, proclaiming Christ to be God and man, twofold both in will and in nature. And thou didst cry, O you works, praise and supremely exalt him unto all the ages. Holy great martyr Euphemia, pray to God for thou us. Thou didst reject earthly matter out of longing for Christ, thy bridegroom, O martyr, in whose footsteps thou didst follow. Therefore thou rejoices with him now, crying out, O you works, praise you the Lord, and supremely exalt him unto all the ages. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. I tremble when I bring to mind the terrible pains and wrestlings which thou didst endure in a woman's body, O all fame, Mater Euphemia, for the sake of thy great love for the Father and the Son and the Divine Spirit, the only God in free hypostasy. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou alone, O Virgin, art the calm haven and refuge of the tempest tossed, wherein fleeing we who are storm-driven upon the surging sea of life are saved from ruin. Wherefore, as is due, we praise and glorify thee unto all the ages. Let every earthborn man upleap in the spirit and now hold his torch on high. And let all the bodiless noetic host now celebrate joyously the Theotokos' sublime and sacred festival. As they cry out, Rejoice, O thou, O blessed one, ever virgin and pure mother of our God. O holy great martyr Euphemia, pray to God for us. The mind and speech of man suffices not to tell the supernal honours and glories which thou hast received to reign endlessly with Christ, O martyr. Thou hast worthily inherited the enjoyment of unmingled delight for thy content. Holy great martyr Euphemia, pray to God for us. Thou was anointed with the noetic mud of the divine spirit, O all family Euphemia, and does ever fragrantly anoint the souls and bodies and all the senses of them that approach thee with faith. 
by which the foul smelling and utterly evil enemy is driven far away. Holy great Marty Euphemia, pray to God for With us. due solemnity we celebrate thy prize worthy and radiant festival in thy venerable temple today, wherein we are gathered through the wise guidance of our good shepherd, O all lauded maiden, beseech the Lord in his behalf. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O beginningless Trinity, shelter and preserve those who praise thy Godhead. For thou hast a fair virgin Euphemia, together with the martyrs, interceding always round the glory of thy brightness. And as we faithfully keep her memorial, we rejoice. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. We bring thee our salutation, O pure lady, crying to thee with longing. Rejoice, O fiery throne, rejoice, O palace of the Most High, whom David prefigured as about a mountain. Rejoice, O majesty of the apostles, and preservation of our souls. Thou hast dead yet did gush forth the quickening mar of thine own blood as living in the living God, and thou dost hold in thine embrace the tablets teaching Christ aright, for which cause we extol thee, O martyr Euphemia. Wisdom, most holy mother of God, save us. More honourable than the cherubim of beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word. The very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, O hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Holy Father, bless. May Christ, O true God, with the prayers of his holy and all pure mother, with the prayers of Saint John the Baptist, of the holy and all praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy life-giving cross, and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven, and the prayers of our fathers among the saints Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Sisoes the Great, Brandon the Navigator, Oren of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, Moluag, all the saints of all these islands, our protectors and our benefactors. And the prayers of the holy great martyr, the all-famed Euphemia, who through a supernatural wonder upheld the orthodox tome of faith at the Holy Fourth Ecumenical Council. With the prayers of the 630 holy God-bearing fathers of the Holy Fourth Ecumenical Council, which was convoked at Chalcedon in the year 451 to condemn the era of Eutychius. With the prayers of St. Olga, the great princess of Kiev, the equal to the apostles, who in holy baptism was renamed Helen. With the prayers of the holy martyr, Kindias, the presbyter of Pamphylia, with the prayers of our righteous father Leo of the sheepfold, with the prayers of the holy martyrs Marcion and Martyricles, who were perfected in martyrdom, the one by the sword and the other by arrows, with the prayers of our righteous father Nicodemus, who struggled in asceticism in the monastery of Vatopedi and became the teacher of the divine Gregory Palamas in the philosophy according to Christ, with the prayers of the holy new righteous martyr Nicodemus, who was perfected in martyrdom by the sword in Albania in 1722, with the prayers of the holy new righteous martyr Nectarius, who was perfected in martyrdom by the sword in 1820, with the prayers of the holy Haromata Abundius the Presbyter, who was beheaded in Cordova by the Moors in 854, with the prayers of Saint Droston, the first abbot of Deer in Aberdeenshire in Scotland, disciple of St. Columba and St. Turtil of Crowland, and all of those with them whose memory we also keep this day. And the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us. 
For he is good and he loves mankind. Amen. With the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.